New season of Bar have you been in Barcelona? It's transfer time. What's happening folks and welcome to a brand new episode and a brand new season of Rebuilding Barcelona. If you're excited for this episode and the new season, hit that like button down below and subscribe for daily FM content on this channel. If there's not enough content for you here, there's two more channels down below for my FIFA, FIFA stuff and also my non um, football later let's play channel and the usual links down below to the twitch discord and all that kind of twitter and that kind of thing look at the start of the season guys you usually don't put it on the um, squad then on the feature screen but the first game of the season which always shows a one-off game on its own is against real madrid and i'm thinking to myself i'm looking at the features and like really really so yeah, uh, but you're not here for the, well, you're here, you are here for the game, obviously, but you want to know what chances I've done, don't you? Well, we had a lot of money to spend, um, and I've still a couple of players as well, so let's go with the outgoings first. Sol Dembele um, for 7.5 million. Literally, I could not shift this guy. Uh, Mia Copa, I gave him a too big of a contract, um, and no one wanted to buy him. Um, I wanted him out because he'd been out before by... Karim and we want to get drink our chances with youngsters are coming through so I thought let's shift him on now get it out of the way uh, I'm sure he'll do well in Serie, in Serie A but he's we, he wasn't doing it for us and yeah so I got what I got I got what I could for him Busquets left the club for 7 is it 7.5 or 6.5 6 million no one both were wrong just again 35 years old not really going to be a long term time to move on um and it was pretty straightforward deal really uh, offered him out for that amount of money and Fiorentina came in and took him so yeah uh, another legend legend out the door the pie left to go to liverpool the simple matter of i didn't even offer these, these guys out then they were interested in signing him they made an offer um which was less than the 48.5 that i got for him for like 32 million something like that i said no uh, i wanted more than that for him if we're going to sell him and then he has to he has to leave so um yeah it, one of it he, he was more likely to be sold than he's not he's not really going to be a striker and or, at wide areas i've got better options in my opinion but i got a decent fee for him it was all up front and i thought yeah um it made sense to sell him uh he's been the one player that's not really done it for me Vern Torres, i've got a soft spot soft spot for him so the decision was made for me really. Once he was sold, that was it. The, the wingers were kind of sorted after that. The first incoming is Paolo Dybala. This deal was done before the end of last season. I just managed to hide it. Uh, I used to think I did um, from you guys. Um, I'm not over expensive. £65 million. He's our main striker this season. He's going to play the deep, deep lying forward role. Um, and he likes to get the ball, plays his shots. You know, I think it could work quite well for us. Um, surprised that deal was that cheap, really. I thought it cost a lot more to get him. But yeah, Dybala is in the club. Dumfries. Um... Dumfries is in, um, looked at May right backs, um, and a lot of them uh, I'm looking at are quite young. Uh, I've got a list of players being, being given to me now that I'm going to work my way through and reset, redo my shortlist now. Um, so yeah, he's in at right back. He's just going to be rotated and competing with Dest. Uh, Alves retired, so he left completely anyway. So that, that made, you know, and Still on the lookout for a young right back long term, of course, um, but uh, I felt he's a good option to bring in. Ruben Neves, uh, basically, he is the Busquets replacement. Uh, he plays a deep line ro playmaker role perfectly, um, so I'm br I've brought him in. Um, now, cost a lot of money. 75 million but the finances of Barcelona have massively, massively improved um, since I've been here they've been the bank bounce loans it was like 200 almost 300 million um, not, all, not, all done, not all these deals not all these deals have been done up front though so that's why that, that was very handy with, with the deals that I managed to do uh, also selling a few players as well worth the wage budget and the big budget anyway we had 161 million pounds anyway so we we factored the you know all the, all the equations it, it worked out quite well um, so yeah he'll start in DM role and uh, hopefully he'll be able to dictate the play and it's a bit, bit more not much more mobile than Busquets but a bit more mobile Raphael Varane yeah um, this was a very late idea that came up um, I looked at PK he's been released by the way uh, he's, he's gone and I looked at my options at set back and I thought yeah the answer I like um, I just need somebody a bit more experienced in that back line and when I, when I saw that it was available for what we paid fifty nine million pound for. It. I thought that's kind of funny for a funny 
kind of story because we're playing with you today. But also, he's a really good centre back, and I think he'll do very well for us. Obviously, he's 30 years old, and I think the fee's about right. Um, and it, it, it just came up with came up, and I thought, hmm, let's see, we'll explore this deal. And yeah, he's now a Barcelona player. So our finances guys look like this. We had a regional budget of £166 million. Pound, £35 million pound that is left. That's probably going to be spent on young players when I find the talents I want. And look at the bank balance, £219 million. Pounds. I mean, the debt is still relatively high. And... Um, but the finances are looking fantastic. Um, the main transfer budget, they fit in a really high budget now going forward. So this is great. I mean, the only problem is, um, is where do I spend it? Um, but that's good. That's a good, that's a, that's a good problem to have. I, I love that kind of problem. Of course, um, we still have to sort issues out of the team. There's still players want to move on and bring in and, no down the system and that kind of thing but I think we've done I think we've done good business good business in the market so let's see what happens today folks against Real Madrid um, that is basically the lineup I'm going with today uh, I think it's a really good team this I like this team a lot um, and but it's got to get results on the football on the pitch though, and it down that's the thing Brand starts number 20, is, it, is, it, is it a low number than that give him number 3 give him number 3 it's more of a setback uh, is, is it more of a setback, setback? Back number is it more of a um, fullback number? Anyway, um, yeah, give everything, give everything in this game, and we're all good. We're on the right, we're on the right settings. Um, I, yeah, so tough game. I mean, that, that, that that looks really weird from Real Madrid. I will be getting the face packs on actually soon, guys. I know there's a lot of people not got faces here. In fact, most of them. Uh, I will be doing that as a matter of urgency for the next for next for next episode. Hopefully, I'll try and do that anyway. So here we go, then, folks. Uh, Barcelona v Real Madrid, El Clasico in the opening game of the season. Three points on the line. Um, can we get them? Can the new signings settle in well? All the answers in the next 90 minutes. And that's a really poor pass by Fatty. Uh, but here we go. Not many hearts in this game so far. Um, Ruben Neves. Dybal dropping deep in that midfield area. Finds pass up to Dumfries. Dumfries. De Jong. Karim. Doesn't keep the ball. Get the pressure on him now. Forced long ball. Not really forced long ball that way. And that's fine. Win that edit. Well done. Pedri. Neves. Pedri. That ball is a great ball to Karim. He's got Karim big down. He can it down. That's a poor pass. He rushed it. He needed to wait a bit longer. Melita, again, that's too easy, lads. Get at them. Oh, it's the pair back too easily there. You've got to press up a push, push on them. Nacho's on the right hand side. Ball in the box to Valverde. We can't let them play at the back like easy. We've got to try and put, put, put a bit of pressure on them. Well, it's been a very even game. Um, not much happens. You can see by the shots on God target. Not much has happened in this match. Uh, but we're not getting dominated, though. Uh, I'm going to say we owe them. That's what happened last time. Go out there and make a difference. But, I mean, there's a, there's a few blue players this line up. Neves, um, Dabala, um, De Vries, and also Varane. So, it, it might take a while for the team to play to settle in this team. Um, but, this is Madrid as well. They are the champions of of the league at the minute, so it's not a big surprise that they are the tough side. But we, we, I just feel like we can be, we can win this game if we just have a bit more oomph in the final third. My finger curls it in, sticking his hands to it. Now then, quickly get it with the pitch. This is where I want to see him get the ball out quicker than this because now he's reset now, and he's always going to do is boot, he's going to boot it. That's a, that's a pointless ball. Play it out from the back, stay again. And this dude is through. He needs to quit this stupid boot of the pitch nonsense. Because um, that was just stupid. Um, transition. Take short, kick, short kicks and dispute there and quickly. Stop booting up the pitch. We've got Dybalo up there. He's not going to win headers in the air often. Start doing it, doing it properly this day again. And we, they don't need the ball, don't ball now. Once again, a fullback can't work out where a runner is. This is Junior. Curls it in favour of Mariano. Come on, lads. Get hold of the ball again. You've stopped playing football in the second half. Can't get from Madrid. Rafinha's going to take it. Curls it in. And another save. Wake up, lads. You have really not started the second half well at all. Get hold of the ball and start passing it again. You did they, they literally stopped playing. Cleared. Push out now. Put pressure on them. Again. Poor. Dumfries. Run, run forward with it, mate. 
Mate, there we go. Commit some men. There we go. Good ball to Kareem. He's found him. Can you find a ball in the box? He's found Dumfries again. Need support. No support there. Give support to him. He's isolated on his own there. You, you've got to realise that. Oh, it's like there. The ball with a chance. Oh, my God. That's got to be a goal. That's just looks unacceptable. Corner kick. Watch him go score now. Now we missed that chance. <sighs> Dybala. I can't believe he missed that. Um, ignore that for now. Alba down left on side. Can he find a pass? He's found Pedri. Pedri. Neves. Play a ball first time, lad. Just have a picture in your mind before you get it. Pedri in the penalty area. But he's through. Why has he gone near post? Right foot, far post. It's so infuriating. Right foot. Keepers left. Nailed on goal. Surely. But why is that animation looking like that? It's so annoying. It makes you feel like they're making the wrong decision. Every single time. They go the wrong direction. Okay. So, we're going to make a change. Ferranto's coming for Fatty. Uh, actually, no. Bring him on. Uh, bring Trincowan, actually. Oh, I can't bring him on the, on the bench. Bring Ferranto's on for Karim. Uh, Figure Dion can come off for Gavi. And that will do for now. Just We've had two good chances in this game. I've just taken him off. Wish to change next year. I want, I, want, I want that change next year. When you make a substitution, you, I don't know, I don't know why it does, but it's annoying. We make the change, and he then asks you to do it again. Just take it. <clears throat> Dumfries, Fern Torres. That was pointless pass. Stegen. Try to fix it on. Dybala looking like he didn't give a shit about that ball. Alba. Neves. Gavi. Dybala. Great ball. Dumfries. Get in the box, lads. Ball comes in. Fatty's in there. Heads towards goal. He's got to hit it across back into penalty. He can't head for goal there. He's got to try and get a cross face to goal. Stegen. Nianzu. Out to the fullback. Too many touches in those areas. That's a shocking pass. That's not even a difficult pass to play. That's a shit play from the from the, from the Vries there. Bring it down, lad. Fern Torres. Swings it out wide. Stop playing passes like that. We're not playing that kind of football. Short passes. Move it quick. Oh, no. Far post Rafinha. And there we go. All down to 1-0. All down to a stupid cross-field pass that we don't want them playing. So frustrating. And then the counter again. We're out of position then. It's so frustrating. We should, we should have scored two great chances and missed them both. But this is the deflected goal, isn't it? Yeah. Stupid cross field pass. Why are you doing it? We don't play that way. We keep possession. But they ignored it. And that's the frustration. That's why that goes. We should have scored with, with the with the baller. We've, we've been really, really poor in taking our chances today. Fatty should have scored. So should the baller. And so many players again have just been like, in these areas here, just been a bit off it. Not really closing down. Taking too many touches. Fatty's been absolutely useless. Um... Today again, just don't get don't get a tune out of him. Not really pressing well here. Either. Look at this passing around. Like, not even here. Put a foot in on him. Do you know what I mean? Like just show some desire. But look at this. They're just at some point they should realise that they could keep the ball there, aren't they? And try and get the Dumfries got tackle there. Gavi, play it forward. Too late. Full time. Mounted one. Barcelona nil. We don't just lose that game. Um, but I, don't, I think a draw is a fair result. I really do. Um, Dybala should have scored. Um, Fighters should have scored as well. That I want to see change next year with the whole like near post shooting. It happens too often. Either change animation or it's, it's either an animation problem or it's a really poor finishing problem. No player goes near post when he's right footed there. Doesn't happen. He'd go to the keeper's left, surely. At least not as many times as they're doing it anyway at the moment. So it's really annoying. But they made, for me, Fighters is out of form. Maybe that's the reason why he went for that. But yeah, is, did, he, did, he play, did he play poorly? Yep, he did. I'm sure the bar played poorly as well. No, no, he didn't. But yeah, this guy is right footed. Keeper, there's a massive gap on his left hand side. He needs to go, needs to go outside more often. Anyway, um, it's Madrid, it's 1 0 defeat. We move on. So, next episode, guys, um, I'm not sure what, what, what it will be because I'm pretty sure there'll be Champions League group round here. So, it might be we do Elche and Sevilla. Uh, but it depends on what the feature list comes out with and all that kind of stuff. So, if you haven't enjoyed the episode, I hope you have. Hit the like button down below. Subscribe if you're new as well. Hopefully, the signs are settling quickly and we can get some form going. Um, but, yeah. 
if you can't if you don't if you don't take chances like that bar did you're not gonna win the game it's simple as that so thank you for watching folks don't forget to check out the let's play channel down below for non-football content and the fifa channel as well and i'll catch you all in this episode thank you for watching bye bye